Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. We've got some really cool stuff today, some more news. So as always, let's get straight to it. The very first thing that I want to show you guys are the full reveals, the galleries for the upcoming How Long Good releases. First of all, we've got the Packy Rhinosaurus. And yet again, I think they did a great job on choosing the color schemes and on top of that, applying them very nicely, very naturalistic, but at the same time flashy enough that you'll obviously really take notice to them. The only thing I don't like on the Pachyrhinosaurus that I'm noticing are the eyes. I think the eyes look really weird because like they have like sideways pupils. It looks a little bit strange to me. I don't know exactly what the motivation was for that and uh, definitely not my first choice as far as the paintwork goes for the eyes but the sculpts look great and the paint outside of that looks really really good on top of that we also have the Werasaurus and as always we've got two different paint variants for that as well this also looks really good really naturalistic as far as the paintwork goes and uh, the only thing that I can see on this one that looks a little bit iffy for me I think both of these figures could have used a nice dark wash because if you look in the face like once you actually get to the face there's really not much that's defining the detail and it all kind of blends together but I still think you know I can't really judge until I see them in person I still think they look really cool and again very nice paint apps very nice paint schemes and I believe you can order both of those from Lana Time Shop right now on top of that when it comes to Rebor something I recently missed the tortoise the grab and go tortoise that they were teasing a while back we had all thought were maybe I guess cancelled but they recently had shared a few images of it so I guess that means it is still still coming it is still on its way and I think this looks incredible definitely something that I am going to grab for sure I'm a huge fan of reptiles in general but turtles and tortoises specifically again I'm a very very big fan of so this is a must have for me for sure a pickup once they do officially go up for sale and then as far as the Beasts of the Mesozoic and Cyberzoic specifically goes, we've got a look at the Utah Raptor and the very cool armor and stuff that it has going on. David Silva recently had shared this image. So if this is the type of stuff that you enjoy when it comes to like Dino Rider style figures, you're going to love this because I think it looks really cool and uh, definitely adds an entirely new element of fun to these figures. And then a thank you goes out to Collect Jurassic for this, but there's a very interesting T-Rex hand puppet for the Jurassic World Dominion line that apparently has been making the rounds in Australia. I don't know how much I really would want to get my hands on it. I mean, it does look really cool. I kind of do want to get a hold of one of these, but considering they seem to only be found in Australia, it makes it a little bit harder, I guess, for me to get a hold of them and, of course, would be more expensive. But if you happen to be in Australia, you know, and you don't know of this already, something to keep your eyes out for. And then, of course, when it comes to Mattel, we have a brand new look. Again, thank you to Collect Jurassic for this image of the upcoming Habitat Defender Triceratops. This was recently taken at a toy fair, and it's our first chance to really get a nice look at the paint job and everything on the final product. It looks awesome, honestly. Even though the Triceratops from Jurassic Park it kind of had that brownish look in reality, I think it was actually a grayish color, but it was just kind of covered in dirt and stuff, giving it that brownish look. But I think it looks really good overall. The coloration looks really nicely applied really naturally applied and it's cool to see a figure like this from Mattel that absolutely has that fully painted look like all the horns and spikes and stuff are all painted most of the osteoderms are painted the nails are painted it does look really really nice but on top of that, we also have, and this is a thank you to Collect Jurassic as well as JP Toys for uh, these images, but we have quite a few images of the upcoming Hammond Collection Brachiosaurus, and uh, I think it looks really nice. Again, these new images definitely show you how beautiful the sculpt is as well as the paint job. I think it really does have a very nice paint job. I think the only thing that I'm not a big fan of at this point is the articulated neck, which I kind of thought originally I would like, but... If you look at this image here where it shows the neck being articulated, like there's all kinds of wrinkles and stuff in it, and it looks unnatural to me. So I think there is a little bit of a downside to the neck articulation, but I really can't judge thoroughly until I see it in hand when it does release very soon. But it looks very cool regardless, and of course is something that I really cannot wait to get my hands on and add to my collection. So as of right now, guys, that's all the news I've got. When more comes out, I'll be sure to send it your way. But until then, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.